The goal of this plein air painting for me was to capture that sunlight going through the leaves of those trees, so I immediately laid in the yellows right away with no drawing underneath because I wanted to preserve the light and set it up from the beginning because that's what the painting is all about. And I painted as boldly as I could with fat paint and didn't worry about the drawing too much because for these sessions, my goal is to come out with something bold and exciting, even though the drawing kind of tends to slip when I do that. My biggest challenge was figuring out how to layer the tree with all the leaves and branches on top of the water. So the strategy I chose is to paint the background first, uh, put in the thick sky, the water, and then the leaves and branches on top. It's a bit difficult to work into thick paint like that, but I think it worked out all right. When I got home, I wanted to put some finishing touches on this piece, like getting rid of that weird log that was floating in the water. And instead, I made it into a cute little duck that I saw out there, but unfortunately, I didn't have the reference for the duck, so I just made it up. I also spent quite a lot of time working on the leaves that are above the water by adjusting their shape to hopefully look more like leaves, but I also wanted a greater variety in the size and the type of brush stroke. When I was out there in the field during the actual painting session, towards the end where the grass is growing in the water, there showed up these glittering white highlights at the base of the grass. So I indicated them with some dabs of white paint. But when I got home, I felt like they didn't read correctly. So in the end, I decided to remove them. And I think the painting is easier to look at that way. In the end, I can say that even though plein air for me is probably the hardest thing to do because of the changing conditions and I'm a portrait artist, so I'm not used to it. It's also a ton of fun. Things are changing out there. You have to adapt. You're out in the sun, hopefully, people are trying to talk to you. It really makes you feel like a real artist, I suppose. And uh, I had a great time and I hope to keep doing it more. Thank you guys for watching.